Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Art of Rally. Let us begin. We're still playing in Japan in 1980. Mount Akagi. I believe this was around the time when Microsoft de developed Microsoft Disk Operating System, like MS-DOS. Yeah, it was around the, the early 1980s, but I forget exactly the exact year. But we're approaching this, and I also I believe we're approaching the era of IBM compatible uh, PCs. It's just around the time when personal computers were becoming affordable for the general uh, average Joe. So personal computers were becoming a thing in the in the US around the 1980s. Maybe not 1980 exactly, but around the 1980s. The, the internet was still not a big widespread thing just yet though. It was developing, but it was still not as widespread as many people think. Okay, let's start. Let's first do some repairs on our car, and now let's begin. Okay, let's see how well we can do this. I don't even know why the game offers you an, op an option to repair your car. It's like, shouldn't this be done automatically? Like, what's what's the point of that? Like, why why wouldn't you want to repair your car? It's not like there's a currency management system in this game at all. Like, you don't have money as far as I can see. So it's not even that repairing your car might be prohibitively costly for you. It's like you don't have money, so why wouldn't you want to repair your car? It's like doing it for free. From what I can gather from that screen, I believe that uh, it might cost you some time, but I don't really understand what that impacts inside the game. Like, what does time even mean in this game? Like, why would I not take my time to repair my car? Does this add seconds to my uh, up rally race, which are not spent with me racing, but by but uh, getting my car repaired? Like, is that it? Like, maybe I lose some uh, some extra seconds from the rally race that way if I repair my car. I don't fucking know. I'm just speculating right now. Like, I don't see any reason why the why the game would even ask you. You know, do you want to? <coughs> Do you want to go through the trouble of repairing your car? Yes, I do want to go through the trouble. Why wouldn't I? Like, I'm going to race with this car. Obviously, I want it to be in tip-top shape. Man, we've, we, we've not even at the half, halfway point of the racetrack and I'm already absolutely destroyed by the amount of curves that I have to drive along. Like, look at this shit. Look how much... Look, look how much stuff we have to do. Like, why can't these, these rally races have a straight fucking road and just go through that for crying out loud? Like, that would make things so much easier for me. I get it that that would kind of defeat the purpose of a rally because the entire challenge would be in driving on the race... Uh, on the rally track, but... Still, like, the amount of curves that they're throwing at us is almost ridiculous at this point. I cherish whenever I get to a point on the, on the rally track where the road is just a straight fucking line. Oh, baby. Okay, so we're past the halfway point of the rally track now.
easy there. Don't overshoot it. Just don't do not overshoot the curves. That's the main thing you have to worry about when you accelerate indiscriminately like I'm doing right now. Okay, so we have to do a pretty long U-turn right over here. Come on, stop messing around. Okay, so I think I did uh, pretty well on this race. It took me 4 minutes and 26 seconds to finish it and we are on 5th place. We are on ninth place throughout the entire rally because we've been doing so goddamn poorly up until this specific stage. But this stage has been pretty damn well driven, if I do say so myself. Like we've we've done a pretty good job, let's say. Like fifth place is something I will definitely be accept and be comfortable with. So stage four right now. And I might just as well do stage 5 afterwards as well in this one video. Nico, stage 4 out of 5. I want to move to 1981 as soon as possible. Let's take a moment to take in the scenery because the scenery is very fucking gorgeous. And let us uh, start. Let's begin the stage. Like right now, I did not have to repair my car for whatever reason. I don't know what triggers the option to start to repair your car. I think you might just have to smash your car against a tree or something for you to trigger that option. Which is most likely extremely uh, frequent depending on the type of driver you are and how reckless you are. I personally don't feel like I am that reckless but at the same time uh, since I do get that option pretty fr frequently, I think I might just be underestimating the m amount of times I actually do hit other objects in the environment with my car. I don't even know how the, the game calculates when you get your car damaged or, or not. God, the, the, the sakura trees are so gorgeous. So we're already past the, ha the uh, halfway point of the rally track. There's not much more to go. Like this is a pretty short up rally track, all things are considered. Finally a fucking straight road. I've been missing this section of the racetrack for quite some time now. 
careful go just around and yeah just go through that fucking curve right there we're doing quite well for ourselves all things considered So we finished the rally track in 2 minutes and 44 seconds. We are on 3rd place, honestly. Like, th this is pretty nice. We are doing quite well for ourselves. Let's continue. One final uh, stage for this sort of one video. We'll be playing during sunset, apparently. Mount Asama. Have, have we not played here before? I think we might have. Like, that name sounds very familiar to me. This might be the most challenging out of all of them, since it's the last stage of this rally. And I'm going to assume, yeah, it's going to be zigzaggy as fuck. And it's also probably going to be very long. Normally I wouldn't include this last rally race in our videos, but I guess I might as well, really. I see no reason not to. Like, we're already past the 10 minutes mark when I normally... Okay, let's start. Oh, 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 we're already... Oh, we do have repair options right now. See, there's a fucking time counter. What does this time counter mean? If I don't uh, repair it, then uh, I guess the only thing... Uh, the only thing that we have to do is to clean our car. Cleaning the car will reduce drag. Okay, sure, let's auto-repair. So that took away one circle worth of time, but what does this mean? Like, wh how does this impair us in any way? I don't understand. But, uh, yeah, uh, whatever, let's begin. So basically, we're already past the 10 minute mark when I usually consider it the, uh, the minimum amount of time for uh, making a video. So I could have left this last... Uh, a stage for the next video but honestly i don't see a point of it for it we're already toward uh, pretty close to the end of this rally we might as well just fi uh, finish off with it in this one video because in next video then we can start in doing rally races in 1981 afterwards which I am quite curious where that will be. We've been playing in Japan the past couple of rally races, so I'm quite curious if we will be returning in Europe or if we will finally go to America. I don't think I've been playing in America for quite some time now. I, I, I might genuinely have not played in it at all, actually. I want to see if I can play somewhere on the, on the continental United States. Maybe in the actual US or in Canada. Or Mexico. Or maybe even South America as well. Like maybe in, in Brazil. That would be quite cool. I don't know if this game has uh, Brazil in it. Or has levels from, uh, from uh, Brazil. Did we play anywhere in the Southern Hemisphere? I can't remember which country we played in, but we played in an African country. Maybe that was somewhere in the Southern Hemisphere. But I don't think we played in South America just yet. Nor did we play in Australia yet. So, mixing things up would be quite nice. God, this rally track is making me fucking dizzy. There are so many goddamn curves. It's incredible. I don't need more fucking curves. Just please stop. Go in a straight fucking line already. It's like I'm tra I'm traversing a fucking a, a labyrinth for crying out loud. Like this is not how real life roads are supposed to be like 
The only way I can see actual real life roads being this zigzaggy is if they're going through a mountain chain. And at that point you don't really have a choice, like you have to go along the mountain in the way the mountain is shaped. So it can be as zigzaggy as it is necessary. But I, I don't fucking see any mountain peaks around me, so there's re literally no reason for the fucking roads to be this zigzaggy. 3 minutes and 11 seconds, okay? We're on 4th place, so ultimately we're on 6th place when it comes to the entire rally. Just because of how poorly we performed in the first stages of this rally. On average. Okay, so we finished up quite nicely. I really like this, uh, this sub-situation. Yeah, this is fine. We we could have performed be better if I genuinely tried to 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 make it work. But honestly, sixth place it could be fucking worse. Let's just be honest. Sixth place is fine. I can deal with that. Yeah, this is fine. Group B unlocked, new car unlocked. Il Cavallo 882. The Cavallo 882 was a twin turbo ground up rally car that had the highest power to weight ratio of any car in its class. The Italians purposely designed the car around asphalt stages and it also served as a base to a prototype for closed circuit racing and later used to shape the first production car to surpass 200 miles per hour. So well done with 1980. Honestly, I think I'm happy with it. So, out of all of these, 1979 was where we performed the best. We, we was ending in third place, which I guess is my greatest achievement up to this point, when we played unskilled. Then 1977 is, the, is our second best achievement, where we also played unskilled and we ended up on fourth place. And finally, it's 1980, when we had... Uh, sixth place now let's see how 1981 will be this will this one will be a bit different because it will have two rallies instead of one like we've been having up until now and each rally will have five stages so that's going to be interesting i will maintain the skill level and uh, but while i did like the le chink i will shuffle our car again just to mix things up a bit so let's shuffle and we get la longana which i believe we already had but sure, let's go with this once again. On cri one Christmas morning in Italy, a, a, a Pandoro, which is a, a sweet cake, arrived at the door of the engineer designing La Longana. When the family began to eat it, they found a turbocharger hidden inside the cake, which resulted in the idea, why not put one in the car? Thus, the first Italian production car with a turbo was born. Sure, why not? So we're playing in Japan once again. And that's so strange. Like, are we running out of variety? Why are we still playing in Japan? I don't really mind because... Yeah, it's Mount Akagi again. Or wait, was it? Ah, no, it was Mo Mount Asama previously. So this is a different mountain. But uh, I, I don't really mind Japan. It's a pretty cool place either way. Like, I, I'm all for more, uh, more Japanese levels for all I care. So we're fi we're finally advancing in 1981. Soon enough, I wonder for how long we will, uh, uh, how many levels this game has. Like at some point, we might have to end around the 1990s or even early 2000s, depending on how long the game is. I would be surprised if it w went into the 2010s. 
because at that point the game would be extremely long if we have to go through every single year up until the 2010s but anyways that's it for this video thank you very much for watching if you want to get in touch with me i have a mastodon account as well as a matrix room where you can join so please feel free to get in touch with me using those means you can find the, the details of those in the description of this video and in the meantime thank you very much for watching and see you next time